Hi, my name is Abby Cecil. I'm one of the outpatient oncology dietitians at UofL Health Brown Cancer Center. My family has an extensive history of cancer. Um, and for me, the most impactful was when my dad was going through treatment for head and neck cancer while I was in college, kind of when you're deciding what you want to do with your life. Um, so watching him lose so much weight and really kind of waste away right in front of me due to a loss of appetite and taste changes and painful swallowing, hearing from him and my mom about his experiences at the cancer center and all the challenges he was enduring, that really stuck with me and made me pay attention more in my nutrition classes and, and kind of sparked an interest and eventually led to me going into the field of dietetics as my career. As dietitians, we provide nutritional counseling, medical nutrition therapy, and nutrition educations to all the patients at nutritional risk throughout the continuum of cancer care. For us, this typically means helping patients to manage nutrition-related side effects such as nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, taste changes, to prevent any significant weight loss and the subsequent malnutrition. Um, our role also entails writing enteral nutrition orders for those patients who are unable to meet their nutritional needs through an oral diet. Um, whether that's from the cancer or the cancer treatment. We provide one-on-one -on -one counseling and education on these topics and really do our best to make sure that the patients feel comfortable and are at ease since nutrition is something that's such a big part of everyone's life. Nutrition is ultimately to provide your body with the energy to, to get through treatment and to come in every day to continue getting your treatments and to to live your life. I mean, I have a patient I've been working very closely with right now who is so, so small and so weak, but she is having a granddaughter born soon and she wants to have the strength to hold her granddaughter. Nutrition is such a social aspect. I mean, people invite you out to dinner or you wanna sit down and eat dinner with your family, but if you don't have an appetite or are getting nauseous at the smell and sight of food, how do you join them? Or if you're requiring tube feeds for your nutrition, you feel like you're kind of on the outside watching your family sit down to dinner. Um, so we do come up with strategies to help patients work through that, um, whether it's coming up with meals that may not have as strong of a smell that the patients may be able to, to tolerate sitting and eating with their family or giving ideas for, for blander foods or higher calorie foods or whatever it is to meet their needs. Um, we do our best to make sure that nutritional deficits aren't occurring in the first place, but that some of these symptoms aren't affecting their mental well-being and, and the social aspect quite as much as they otherwise might. Um, and then I know one thing we're really excited to be working on right now for our patients on tube feeds is um, more of a blenderized tube feed protocol. So if a patient's family is having meatloaf and mashed potatoes for dinner, you know, maybe that patient doesn't just have to use the tube feeds, maybe they can blenderize some of that dinner and eat it as well and kind of be a part of that family experience.